We have new information tonight about what police uncovered in a search of Brian Koberger's apartment and what contact the Idaho murder suspect may have had with one of his victims before November 13th. Here's the senior correspondent, Laura Engel. Newly unsealed search warrants in the Idaho College student murders, revealing details that had been kept under wraps for weeks. A list of items investigators seized in the search of suspect Brian Koberger's Washington State apartment include eight possible hair strands, one of which was identified as possibly in animal hair, a single black glove, fabric with dark red stains, and a computer tower. The search warrant made public Wednesday shows police took possession of at least 15 items of interest in the homicides of four University of Idaho students that could prove critical in the case against him. And for the first time since Brian Koberger's arrest in Pennsylvania December 30th, investigators also described previously undisclosed evidence they were looking for, including blood, DNA, dark clothing, and any data compilations either did digital or on paper, which showed the victims and the home in Moscow, Idaho, where the four were found murdered the morning of November 13th. The warrants allege Koberger pre-planned the ambush rather than a crime that happened in a moment of conflict and had studied other murders and how to avoid detection as part of his preparations. As the investigation moves forward, there is also a new report that Koberger repeatedly sent direct messages or DMs to one of the female victims through Instagram two weeks before the murders that appeared not to have been opened, according to People magazine. With the ongoing gag order in the case, investigators have not responded for comment. Koberger has not yet entered a plea and will be back in court June 26th. Trace. Laura, thank